All right, so I told myself before this trade day that I was going to take an offer on Carlson and Edler no matter what. So whatever these offers are on here, uh, good luck. Uh, I'm just going to take whatever is the highest offer here. So what we have here is Carlson straight up and a left defenseman to a defenseman. I don't want that. Get that out of here. Uh, Colton Orr in 23k, that's the highest one so far. And then we got Petra Ange or Petrangelo, sorry. And he's going for around 30 to 35 maybe. So that seems like the best deal there. I will take that. Enjoy your uh, hot live Carlson. I do enjoy him very much. Uh, so take your uh, Carlson. I'll take Petra Angelo. And next up is Alex Edler with four trade offers here. Jack Johnson, Marc-Andre Fleury, and 698 pucks. I can reject that straight up. Uh, Edler, Latang, Camilleri. I can I can reject that straight up as well. I know that guy probably has uh, probably a fan of Alexander Edler, but I just don't exactly want that deal. Henrik Zedin, Forsberg, and Domi. No, thank you for that. And the final d deal here that I kind of um, went all the way to is Dorset, 24k, 15 game duration, and a captain card. I will take that. I'm not sure if he's trying to imply anything, but I'll take the deal for the coins, and then I'll move on to Mike Medano. All right, so we're going on to the last two players here, Mike Medano and Jakob Voracek. I will do Medano first because he's worth a little bit less, but he's still going for around 200k with 20 trade offers. So we're going to have to take a look at some of these deals, and uh, hopefully we get through a couple of them. Patrick Kane and 20k for Mike Medano. Uh, I will delay it. Well, that's the best offer so far. D'Angelo, I can reject that. He's pretty much a 5 to 6k player. Mario Lemieux. Ooh, that would be a pretty good replacement for Mike Medano on my team. I'll definitely delay that. We got a contract here. Wish it really did not bring you all the way back to the beginning when you reject trade offers, but let's keep going here. Chris Letang, straight up for Mike Medano. That's not bad as well. Pofu, Mama, Duclair, and Yarwood. Nice. I will uh, reject it, unfortunately. Not worth too much. Thank you for whoever sent that. Subban and Fiddler. Fiddler, gotcha, bitch. Uh, right trigger. Oh, man, another one. <laughs> another one. All right, um, Yasin. Haven't seen this buddy in a while. Uh, Rio Yasin going for around... I'm hoping still 100k. I'm going to reject it anyways. Not too interested in him. Uh, and next up, we got 180k and Eric Johnson. That's a solid amount of pucks. Uh, Ryan Getzlaff, that's a solid player. Uh, Ryan Getzlaff, Hall, and 30k. So Hall's going for what? 50, 60k maybe. So that's going to give you about 90. With Getzlaff, you're getting about... It's hard to say. I'm, I'm, I'll delay it, all right? Pavel Berry is going for one, about 180. Seabrook is going for around 10 to 15. So that's not a bad deal as well. A lot of offers I'm going to have to compare here. This deal, not too bad, but the Legends don't go for too much, so I'm going to reject that. Chris Russell's playing on Calgary now, right? Um, maybe he had the wrong change team on him, but uh, we're almost near the end here. 185k straight up, I can reject that. Seems like we have offers of just about 200k anyways. And next up, we got Pavel Burry. Yep, we already saw that one. 150k, I can reject that once again. I'm not looking for that little amount of pucks. Uh, next up, Pavel Burry. We got 25k, Datsu Medano, Betker Hand. Uh, Datsu's going for around 40, 25k. It's not worth enough. I'm going to reject that as well. And we're going on to the last two here, last two dots here. And we got 200k. That's a solid amount of coins. Cronwall and Mike Medano. Ooh, that is a very good offer. I will delay that. Corey Perry, like we already know, he's going for around 85 with Petra Angelo. Uh, no thanks for that. I'm going to reject that deal. So, I'm going to reject the Patrick Kane deal as well. I know he's going for around 130, 140 maybe. Maximum. Uh, so, that's about 160, 170. Now, I'm just going to check the values of these players. I'll be right back. Alright, so, boy was I wrong with some of the trade offers there in terms of value-wise. So, reject the contract first. And I'm going to go through some of the values here. And then you guys can decide maybe in the comments which one was better. But, uh, so there's a few really close offers here. Mario Lemieux is going for around 216000 from what I am, uh, from what I'm recording. So that's about two hundred and thirty-six dollars with, uh, with this offer. And that's not a bad deal. And then going on to Chris Letang. I checked Letang Team of the Year's value on Xbox One. He's going for around 260000 right now. So compared to the first offer, I'm going to reject that deal. So right trigger this. Eric Johnson, 180k. Like I suspected, Eric Johnson's only like a 25 to 35k player. Uh, not going to really add up to Chris Tank Team of the Year's value. Going on to the next one here, Ryan Getzlaff's going for about 180k. I can reject that deal. Uh, Ryan Getzlaff, Hall, and 30k. So Hall, I was a little bit off with. Uh, I do have to put a change position on him if I plan on selling him. But 
Ryan Getzlaff, he's going for around 75k. Taylor Hall's going for around 70 as well. So you're getting about 170k. I can reject that deal straight up. Burry Seabrook, Burry's going for one for 180k. Uh, so that adds up to about 200. Crystal Tang still worth a little bit more. And this deal right here is pretty interesting. So I got 200,000. Mike Medano, he's going for around 50k. And Cronwell's going for around 10k. So in terms of uh, value wise, it is almost exactly the same as Chris Letang, the 260 to 265k range. So it really comes down to do I want pucks or do I want a player? And I think you guys already know the answer, but I'm going to take the pucks on this deal just because I'm probably going to be selling Chris Letang in the short term. And uh, I don't want to be holding on to Crystal Tank any longer than I need to. I'd rather just have the coin straight up, sell Mike Medano, sell Cronwall, maybe get a little bit less coinage, but it's still a pretty solid deal. So there you go. Enjoy your Mike Medano, and I'll take the 200k, another Mike Medano back, and uh, the Cronwall as well. So last but not least, Yakov Voracek is going to be the next one up. All right, so we got nine minutes left for Yakov Voracek. 20 trade offers. All right, let's see what we get. It's going to be pretty exciting here. Vladimir Tarasenko and Voracek, alright, alright, that's the first offer there. Evgen Evgeny Malkin, I'm about to say Evgeno Malkin there. He played a great game in the playoffs, the first game, but I'm going to right trigger that. 126k and Rick Nash, look at these deals, another Rick Nash. We got a contract here, those troll trades will come in eventually. 69k, Evgeny Malkin, another Malkin. Uh, I thought we got a Malkin and some coins there. But if we're going to get two Malkins, I'm going to take the other one. I do not want the left wing one. So right trigger. Keep going all the way to the right. Seattle. Don't need the jersey. You've got a couple of troll trades here, unfortunately. But look at those first five deals. You can't go wrong with that. All right. We finally rejected some of those deals. Jamie Benn and Mario Lemieux. So we know Lemieux's going for around 216. Don't exactly know what Jamie Benn is worth. The HFC one, of course. But I will delay it. Next up is Pavel Burry, Mark Edward Vlasic, Krejci, and Oshi. From what I know, uh, Vlasic is about 140. So with Pavel Burry, you're getting about 320, 350. That's not a bad deal. Nyquist Latang, I can reject that deal. I know Latang's only worth around 260. Uh, and the other player added together doesn't really add up. Uh, Connor McDavid, Darren Helm, right defenseman, left defenseman, change in position, main cards, whatever it is. Connor McDavid is right now going for around 120, I think. Darren Helm's going for around 110. So you're getting about 230 with the coins. Not bad. I like the coin amount. I like the two players. But the thing is, I don't know how hard it is to sell Connor McDavid. I already tried once, and um, I, I don't exactly want him again. So I'm going to reject that deal. I think there's a couple better ones. I'm going to take my chances on that one. All right. I kind of already know the values of those guys. 340,000 coins straight up, I like. Uh, Vladimir Tarasenko, Shattenkirk, and Lad got to check the values of that. Not a bad deal, though. 286k, Anze Kopitar. Uh, that's going to give you about 320, 330. I'm going to reject that deal. I think there's a couple better ones in here for sure. Um, especially the 340k, that would really add up. Uh, we got that deal. 276, I can reject that. We're going on to the third last dot here, if I can get to it. Uh, 6.2k, Carey Price, Ray Bork, and Dan Girardi. I don't want to take my chances with Carey Price. I don't know about him. I, not a solid amount of pucks there. And the team of the year Price, I know is going for around 500 something k So, eh, do I want to take a chance at 94 Price? No, thank you for that one. Uh, delay, 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 delay. And we'll go on to one of the back offers here. Yarmir Yager and 125k. I don't know exactly how much he's going for, but I'll delay it. Uh, Pecorine, Hall, Parise, and Marlowe definitely does not really add up to 300k, so I can reject that deal. So, we got a couple offers to look at here. Let me check the values of some of those players. Alright, so 10 trade offers left, just about 3 minutes left. Hopefully I can take an offer here, alright? Darren Helm and McDavid, and 130k, so he added in an extra 30k. So you're getting about 120k with McDavid, that's about 250. With Darren Helm, that's about 360k, so I do like that deal. Tarasenko is right now going for 270 with Hutlai Voracek. I did not really check its value, but I don't think it goes for too much. So I'm going to reject that deal straight up. I really need to just filter some of these deals. And Malkin right now is going for around 300k, so I can reject that. It's going for around 320, 330 on Xbox One. Not too much. Uh, Rick Nash is a pretty expensive one too. He's going for around 200k with 126k. You're getting about 326, 
but compared to the first deal, we can reject that deal as well. So this first one's in the lead. Uh, once again, 94 Nash. I don't know if it's boosted. I don't know which one it is, but uh, I don't really need 69K with that. Next up is Jamie Ben. I'm not going to risk the card for the HFC card, unfortunately. Uh, I know Lemieux's about 216 with the coins. You're getting about 225, but I don't really want to take my chances with Jamie Ben, so I'm going to reject that one because we have a lot of good deals here. Pavel Burry, Mark Edward Vlasic. Um, sorry, uh, yeah, Mark Edward Vlasic. Pavel Burry's 180. Uh, Vlasic's about 140. You're getting about 320, 350. Once again, very similar to the first deal. 340k coins, solid amount of coins. I might consider it. Tarasenko's going for around 270. Shattenkirk, I'm, I'm going to guess he's going for around 75k. I don't exactly see any in the market right now. And that could be around 370k, but... The players are a little bit iffy. I don't exactly know if I want to take those. Movember Yager is going for around 200k, so I can reject that deal straight up. So, these are the deals here. 200 and... Um, that's a very good deal as well. I think this one just came in. Mario Lemieux is about 215. With the 132k, you're getting about 345 with that deal. Solid amount of pucks. So, we're going to have to do some scouting out for some offers here. Tarasenko, Voracek, Miller... 132k and Mario Lemieux, 131k Darren Helm, McDavid, Finley. Ooh, it's going to be a close one. If any deal I'm going to take, I think it's going to be the first deal, just because I think I can sell Mario Lemieux for the most. This deal is good in terms of players, but in terms of safety wise, Pucks and Mario Lemieux. That's a good deal. So you know what? I'm going to take that deal. That's going for around 350 to around, just around there, right? So, I'm going to take this deal. Enjoy your Jakob Voracek. I will take Mario Lemieux. Pretty straight up good deal. And now, how much do we have left? 425k. I'm going to check out some of the players I have in my collection. Let's see how much we have left. Alright, so we made it all the way to the end. Thank you guys so much for sending in trade offers. I can't thank you guys enough. It's just... Uh, I don't expect too many offers on my trade days. I don't post that many. And this year, you guys absolutely blew it all the water. So thank you guys so much. Uh, I know a couple of you guys gave me donations for sure. You guys gave me values more than what those guys were actually worth. And that definitely does help out my channel. So thank you guys very much. Uh, and specifically, I'm going to talk about the Rick Nash and the 87K deal. Whoever sent that in, you know who you are. Thank you very much for that as well. I definitely have to just give you a personal thank you uh, for this end of this video. But... Uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing, uh, I didn't say this yet, but I am giving away the Zach Parise on Twitter. I'll make sure to post a picture of the proof of me giving it away and everything. But the Zach Parise, 92 overall, left wing playmaker. If you want a chance to win him, I think he's going for around 490000 right now or something crazy like that. If you want a chance to win him, all you have to do is click the link in the description box below. It's pretty much, it will lead to my Twitter page. And uh, it will link you to a post on Twitter that I posted to give away the Zach Parise. All you have to do, retweet and follow, and you have a chance to win. So, after saying that, I'm going to go right into checking some of the values of the players. So first of all, we did get some consumables. We got Dorset, we got a captain card, right defenseman, left defenseman, don't go for too much. We got Cronwell that goes for about 17k. If we add that onto the puck total, we're back up to 443. With Mario Lemieux, that was about 220. You're getting about... Doing calculations on the top of my head here, 660k. Alex Petrangelo will get you about 700. Um, Giroud will give you about 730 to 740. Uh, Corey Perry will definitely get you to 800. Uh, with Rick Nash, 830. And Mike Medano, 875k. So I definitely think that is enough coins to start up Hut Roulette. So look forward to an episode as soon as possible, whenever I can sell off some of those players and immediately begin making some episodes. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this trade day results. Thank you guys once again so much for sending in trade offers. I can't thank you guys enough for every single time you guys do that. And that's just about it. Hope you guys have a good day, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and see you guys later. Bye. For David Krejci and 5,000 coins. Um, I don't know how much Hoodler is, the winner classic one. I can't imagine he's going for too much. Then next up we got Peter Moraz in front of the player of the game cards that just came out. Thomas Vanek at 3.5. So is Moraz going for 45?